What's up guys, this is Mehran from Dynamic Tech. Today I am very excited to unbox Geeko Mini PC Desktop 11 generation. This compact computer packs a serious punch and I can't wait to see what's inside. Now let's take a closer look into the box. As you can see it's a sleek and stylish design with the Geekom logo on the top. The front of the box has a picture of the mini PC with some key features listed like it has 11 generation Intel Celeron processor, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 GB of storage which can be upgraded we will talk about that in a minute. We will test some heavy games like GTA V on this as it has built-in nvidia graphics card so i'm very excited to see how will it run heavy games on the highest settings now let's just open the box and see what we have inside we carefully slide the box open and we are greeted by the mini desktop wrap in a protective form just look at this little guy, it's much smaller than I was expecting but it looks like it's built to last. A really nice finishing and a very high material has been used overall. As on the front we can see the power button, a USB-C port, a USB 3.0 port and a headphone jack. It has built-in Wi-Fi so you don't need to worry on that side. And on the back side of this mini PC we have power socket, mini display port. We got two more USB port in case if you are using wide mouse and keyboard it will be very helpful. Another type C port for only data transferring and a 4K HDMI port. And on the other side we have a full size SD card slot. If we just look it inside so we have got two RAM slots each slot support 16 gigs of RAM so you can upgrade the RAM of this mini PC to 32 gigs of RAM as each slot support 16 gigs of RAM and over here we have M2 NVMe 256GB of storage you can upgrade this to 1TB storage which is something which I really like because in this mini PC everything is upgradable expect its graphic card. Let's see what else comes inside the box we have the power adapter, an HDMI cable, a visa mount and some crews with this plate which you can use to attach this mini PC on your wall or back of your screen. So it's great to see they have included everything we need to get started right away. Now let's connect the mini PC to our monitor and see how it perform. We plug in the HDMI cable, mouse and keyboard and the power adapter and let's just hit the power button. The mini PC boots up really quickly. We are greeted by Windows 11 desktop. Now I am testing 4K video with 60 FPS from YouTube. Hope I won't get strike on this clip but it's playing nice and very smooth as we already have the required codec so we don't need to install any media player. It's running very smooth with no buffering and it's very awesome as you can see on your screen. As we also tested GTA V on very high graphics which looks okay but it was a bit choppy so then we switched to low graphics still I wasn't able to run it smooth as needed while testing Asphalt 9 which is also a bit heavy game but it was pretty much smooth and everything was just perfect. I am very impressed with how well it perform. It's very snappy and responsive and 11 generation Celeron processor handles everything very smooth. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Geeko Mini PC Celeron 11 generation. It's a great little machine that packs a lot of power into a tiny package. We can definitely see this being a great option for anyone who needs a compact and powerful computer for their home office or even gaming. It's a pretty decent machine for your office and your room at very affordable price. It has got upgradable options so you can upgrade the RAM and storage when you need and gaming wise it did a bit struggle to run heavy games but overall it can do coding, can run office applications, Netflix and work related things. And the best thing about this you can keep it very easily at your bag or even in your pocket. Do let me know what you think about this mini desktop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.